Welcome back guys, it's Phil Cape with NMS Gaming. No money spent gaming here, so we are gonna start it off here and show you guys the best challenges to do first off to get your team rolling here for Madden 22. So let's go check out the best challenges that you guys should do and why you should do them. So the first thing you should do is do the campaign. And so you have to do a few things here and you can get some nice rewards along the way. You can get some gold or better uh, nat players um, but these are cards you can put right in your lineup, get your squad better, you know, all those things. But really what you're after here is in week three, and you see it down there. Um, I think it's right after um, the Jack Youngblood, um, you should get it. But you get your team captain, and this card, with getting this right here, you'll be able to get an 89 overall player for your squad, and that is huge right now. This is going to be the best player on your team probably for a few weeks. It's my best player right here. See, I chose John Lynch. There's a few other guys um, to choose from. I can't really remember them all, but just go ahead and do that. You're going to be able to get a free player for your squad. I think you might have to spend a little bit of training, but you're going to get that from the challenges um, anyway, so that's going to be no problem there. Make sure you guys do hit the like button on the video, guys. It really helps out me and the, the channel and the video get more views, so greatly appreciate when you guys do that for me, and comment down below as well. And uh, sub to the channel, you know, we'll be making these kind of videos all year long as well. Coin making videos, all that things. Um, but yeah, let's get more into it here. So if you see this before 827, you want to finish these Superstar Blasts off because they do expire. So you do want to do these and you can get some nice 74 to 84 overall superstar players the challenges are actually kind of easy so you can kind of fly through them so maybe if you only have time to do one or two um at least you know try to finish the whole player out to get that 74 to 84 uh overall superstar player um i hit 280 um overalls for me so you know getting two elites right there for free could be big time right now in the early stage for the no money spent squad here um, okay, let's see. Let's move on here to the next thing. And probably the next thing you want to do is do the Grid Iron Forge. And I actually don't have this card yet, you know, because I've been kind of doing all the challenges. I'm kind of like halfway through everything, you know, um, being, you know, working, you know, maybe you're going to school, you know, you kind of have to pick and choose what you want to do. But I'd kind of do it in this order. But you can get an 87 overall JC Jackson. I'm actually kind of close. I'm like halfway there. Um, but you also do get gridiron packs, pro fantasy packs. You get some nice 75, um, get a gold. So you can get some nice players here. Some of these are a little tough. So I, that's why I would wait till maybe you get your team a hair better from some of the first challenges. And also these legend challenges are low key um, good. It's a nice new addition that they did this year. When you beat two of them like in a row, um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, it's a, oh, I clicked on the milestones. <laughs> so I clicked on the wrong thing there as we, uh, let's go back here. Um, the Legends release. When, so if you do like Revis and Ware, you beat both of them guys, you're going to get a pack to choose from an 83 overall nat player of one of those two players to add to your squad. So you get one for every two players. So Strahan, Unitas, Tomlinson, the other, uh, I'm not for sure who's there. Um, I've only done the Brandon Marshall and the Ed Reed. As uh, When I go down here, I'll show you Ed Reed and Brandon Marshall. And I chose the, the Brandon Marshall, and I'll show you that card here in a second. Kind of show you you know, exactly what you're looking for to get. And you also get the power-ups as well as each player. And you only play a half of game as well. So it's only a half a game. So it's not a full game either, so that's extra glitchy. And you get these nice 83 overalls. You can add them to your team. Um, Either put them in the lineup, all that stuff. I'm holding off because I'm a little, you know, better at receiver right now. But also, as you you, you get your team better, guys, you're gonna have these bronze players. You want to put them in these sets right here in the campaign, and you get a power up player. You get a power up pass, and and then once you do those two, then put all the extras in the gold player, so you get a, a nat gold player or better. Um, I think I only ever got um, gold players for me, but you might be able to get a few extra elites as well. And then when you can't do that, you can do the 100 coin quick sell as well. So make sure you do that with your bronzes. So that should shut you up, guys, for a little bit. Um, you, you should be coming out of there probably with an 80 overall. 
Um, there is a level pack at, I think, level 5 that you can buy in the store for 12000 to get an 80, 82 overall as well. So kind of do all these things, guys, and you'll get a pretty good-looking squad here um, as we go forward. Um, you could also do some solo battles if you, you know, you can do some, uh, get enough time as well, you know, after you get your team better. You're going to have to get your team better. Um, definitely don't want to go in there because solo battles can be a little bit cheesy, but they have some nice rewards. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Um, right here, guys, let me know any feedback. Um, or anything like that. We're always open for discussion. Um, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.